Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I am going to colonize the moon. I decided, you know what, the moon doesn't have anyone living there at the moment. Which is sad, because we've been to the moon, and we, we don't live there, why not? So I thought the best thing to do is put some people there, and to make them live there forever, and never let them come home. Unless I decide that they deserve it, which they probably don't. So this is my lander. The first thing to do is to go up to the moon and see, look for a suitable landing spot. Uh, as you can see, Mark 1 of the lander didn't really end very well. It exploded and since it is the law in this channel, the explosion was in slow motion because all explosions are in slow motion on this channel. It's just, it's just facts, they all are. So the center of gravity was too high and the wheelbase was far too small so I extended the wheelbase out a bit and lowered the center of gravity the simple solution there uh, this time it worked quite well even with the uh, the sky crane on top which is raising the center of gravity a lot without this without the sky crane all worked well so that was the land of done so next thing was to put a little control module into the into the sky crane so that it can fly away independent independently and I can hopefully land that somewhere else and maybe even use it again if need be for exploration purposes. So the next thing is to get it into space, find a way of doing that. Now I need to land it on on the moon, which is going to be quite difficult. So I created a little landing thing which uh, I'm going to land on the moon and then that's just going to stay there and it's going to be disposed of or maybe I'll just leave it there uh, as like a little monument for the first time I ever, ever land on the moon so we go off into space with some big mainsail engines pushing us up straight up into the air uh, obviously that's how rockets work uh, so yeah this is this is us on our way to the moon I got the idea for this after reading an article about a company that are hoping to colonize Mars. They're hoping to send people to Mars by the year 2023 and send them on a one-way journey and live there indefinitely, which is mind-boggling that in 10 years' time there, there are going to be people living on Mars. That's, that is amazing. Uh, I, have, I actually have a couple of facts written down about this because it was so fantastic. Uh, so, as you can see, we are going we are we are going towards the moon now we're leaving we've got a nice big elliptical orbit around earth which will get us right on track with the moon to get pulled into that gravitational field uh... yeah so i'll, I'll tell you a little bit about this mars colonization thing i read about the company's called mars one so uh... if you want to look it up a bit further i'll put a link in the description they, they reckon it's going to cost six billion pounds to land four people on the moon on not the moon on mars uh, which which is actually not much at all, uh, considering that NASA estimated it would cost a hundred billion dollars to get to get one person to Mars and back. Now that just shows that getting to a far away planet isn't the difficult bit. It's getting back that's going to be hard because you need to carry all of the fuel for the return journey there, and especially on a planet like Mars, getting out of the sp the sphere of influence on a planet is much more difficult than a moon. A moon you need a very small thrust. You don't need much thrust at all to get away from the moon's gravitational field. I say get, get away from it, I mean you can never get away from a gravitational field. But to, to remove yourself from the moon's gravitational field and then enter the Earth's gravitational field uh, it's a lot easier than it would be to do it the other way around. As you can see I need all of this fuel to get off the Earth and get onto the moon, whereas to get from the moon back to Earth requires not much fuel at all, actually. Uh, 78,000 people applied to do this, which is just ridiculous. 78,000 people decided that they would like to go to the mo go to Mars and never return. Never. Never ever to return, because this is a one-way journey. Uh, they they hope to send up a, a little robot, like, like my robot that I'm sending up to the moon at the moment, uh, they want to send up a little robot to find a suitable area by the year 2016, uh, which, yeah, three years time. <laughs> I, this is, it's, I can't get over the time scale of this. If if someone had said, oh yeah, in the year 2100, we're going to send up some people to Mars, I'd be like, okay, 
Yeah, I'm not surprised. But in twenty, in ten years, in a decade, that's that's nothing. That is such a short period of time to send people to live in. I mean, I I'm skeptical about whether this is actually going to work or not. I mean, it may not, but just the fact that within ten years we we are planning with to within ten years become an interplanetary species. The human race will no longer just be an Earth race. It will be interplanetary, which is just ah oh, that I it, it 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 blows my mind literally. I I I mean not literally metaphorically it blows my mind, but I, oh, it is just absolutely fantastic. And I do hope that this works. I I I mean it's gonna there's gonna be a lot of mental people. I can only really think that there's gonna be mental people that go up to Mars or very old people. Because, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to do it. I mean, it would be very nice to go to Mars, but I'd want to come back again. I wouldn't want to stay there for the rest of my life. I'd want to stay there maybe for a month, maybe two, if I if I was feeling a little bit... If I was feeling in a solitary mood, I'd be happy to stay there for a couple of months, but for the rest of my life? No, not at all. And there have been some 18-year-olds that have applied. People that are, that are my age have decided they want to spend the rest of their life on Mars with... Only a couple of people, because four people are going up uh, initially, and they plan to send two new people. No, they plan to send four new people every two years. So it's going to be very lonely up there. And it, what if you don't like the people you're with? I mean, I suppose you'd have to like them, really. You'd have to get along with them, otherwise it would be awful, absolutely awful. Anyway, I'm going to tell you about what has happened since I've gone. We entered the moon's. We we, we orbited the. We're in orbit with the moon. <laughs> I can't speak. We're in orbit with the moon. Uh, this uh, I, I, I've been in orbit with, with the moon quite a few times. I've played this game quite a bit. I've never landed on the moon. That's something that I've never done. Uh, or until today. Or maybe not until today. I'll keep the surprise... I'll keep the surprise... Uh, floating in, in your minds. And you can sit on that surprise whilst... Uh, Whilst you wait for the surprise, that makes no sense at all. Uh, so yeah, so we we are now approaching a descent rate. Uh, the plan was I want to land just to the right of the very large crater because I felt landing in the crater is probably not the best of ideas, and especially landing on the side of the crater is a stupid idea because the ground is going to be very uneven. I want the flat ground as flat as possible is is good. So here we go. We're coming down very close. I can't read the numbers because uh, because I can't. I've got it in a low resolution so that I can watch this in Vegas uh, because I'm not actually I haven't rendered this and now I'm watching it I'm watching it whilst it's actually I might be able to turn that up uh, there we go I can see a bit better now uh, I still can't read the numbers though uh, but yes we are we, we went up a bit because I got a little bit over eager got a bit over eager with the uh, the throttle but uh, we start to descend which is good so the the landing the landing spot was a little bit further out than I would have liked but uh, it's 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 fine, it's it's fine. So uh, I start throttling up, hoping to kind of get a more vertical descent. I don't want to be drifting too much. But uh, as you can see, right, we're getting quite low now. Uh, I, think that's, I can't read that. That's ten thousand, ten thousand meters. We're just under ten thousand meters now. Now uh, something that does that does pose quite a bit of difficulty is that height is not the height above the surface. It's the height above sea level. Uh, which means that you can't you can't just wait until you get to like that number you can't wait until that number gets to ten you have to look you have to use your eyes you can't just use the numbers so as you can see the floor starts you can see the textures tiling on the bottom which means we're getting close we're within the the minute range of detail for the textures so we're getting very close now uh, very close to the surface I get a little bit over eager with the throttle this is the first time I've ever tried to land anything on the moon so here we come. Coming down, coming down a little bit more. There, you can see the shadow, and I'm like, shit, we're coming down very quickly. There we go, and we are on the surface of the moon. Yes, uh, at this point, the camera stays still because I'm jumping up and down going, uh, because that's what people do when they land on the moon. So I activate the sky crane and lift the rover off. I try and land it, and oh shit, I, I, I'm coming down too fast. Problem is, this sky crane was far too powerful for the rover. The rover was weighed very little. The sky crane was very powerful. It didn't work very well. So I had to abort by firing my rocket like this. Uh, I go into a big twirl, but I managed to control it by putting a little bit more power on. 
when I'm facing upwards and turning the power off when I'm going downwards to get a bit more altitude. So I'm so I managed to regain control. I don't have an SAS module, uh, and the thing is very light, so any inputs create a huge turning force. So here I am coming down, trying to slow it down, and ah shit, uh, the the whole buggy rolls over, and I lose one of my solar panels. But it's okay. Uh, I try and save that, but uh, so I go into the space station to see if I can grapple onto this and save it. But uh, no, not going to happen. Uh, but no worries, it's exploded, so it's not scattering anywhere, apart from all the minute little pieces that are all over the moon now. So I get in my buggy and I decide to head back over to where that landing spot was because I thought, you know what, that's quite a nice landing spot. So I re I reclassify this as a rover because that's what it is now, and I rename it to. Quacksplorer, the winner, all in capitals because well, why not? Uh, so we head over and uh, yeah, I roll over. I, I stop recording and then I start recording when it starts to roll over. Uh, yeah, the problem with this is there's not much gravity on the moon, so uh, this has less weight, which means that it's it, it rolls quite a bit whenever I try and stop. As you can see, it happened there again. Uh, so at this point, I'm like, oh shit, I can't move, but um, I use the the, the module's torque thing to kind of roll it back onto its side, onto its top, and I can drive off again. At this point, uh, you might notice the battery has gone, so uh, the f the energy is going straight from the generator to the command module, which is not ideal. Uh, it, it must be said, uh, but it, it's just about enough to keep the the thing moving, and I can keep the light on indefinitely as well but I can't use both because the wheels don't get enough power and the light doesn't get enough power. But there we go, we, I move up to the module again, I move up to a module and I turn the light on and I decide to kind of just face it at the command module. So here we are, this is the landing site. Next episode I'm going to put a residential area on the moon. Uh, I'm going to land a big residential thing next to all of this and there we go. Uh, that's That's going to be the plan. And then we're going to have some kerbals on the moon. It's going to it's going to be a proper colony. So once that's happened, uh, I'm going to plant the flag of victory, and then I'm going to slowly add more and more stuff, uh, which I want you guys to suggest to me. Um, put in the comments t things that you think I should have on the moon, so like a big fuck off tower, or maybe a bus stop. We'll have a bus stop. We could have inter. We could have lots of different colonies on the moon. That's the ultimate plan. So yes. Uh, in the meantime, toodaloo.